welcome to Two Drunks Tonight. Um, we have a special edition of Cincinnati beers. We actually have from one of the original Cincinnati breweries. This is Moorline, um, Christian Moorline Brewing Company. We have three of their beers. Um, one of them I don't think you can get anymore. I've had it for a while in the fridge. Um, it's a, so I don't think you can get it in stores. I think they discontinued it. Um, but it's a darker one, so it's good to age. Unless it's uh, you at the high demand. Yeah. But the first one we got tonight is the uh, Moreline FC Cincinnati um, Blood Orange IPA. Is that for the soccer team? This is for the soccer team. FC oh, yeah, Cincinnati is for the football, football club. club. <laughs> football club. Um, they brewed it with their colors, the orange and blue. Um, and it has their logo, everything on it. Um, they just started making this one when the soccer team actually started. So, I mean, I've been wanting to try this one, so I finally spent, paid full price for a six-pack of it. So, John is probably not going to like this one because it is an IPA. Ooh. You smell the citrus and the hops because it has citra hops and the citra hoppiness. Citra hops, I just saw hops. It's not as bitter as some IPAs. Oh, like bullshit. <laughs> it has a citrus with it. Mm -mm. I think it's about. I think it's a little bit more uh, more potent than some of the other ones. I think this is really for an IPA. This is always a little bit stronger. Yeah, it's not filtered. That's the thing. Oh, okay. <laughs> At least if it is, I'm like, I don't know how because it's you have some of the. The particles in it, so I don't think this one's filtered. John's going to chug that one, and I guess I will most likely finish this bottle. Uh. And for the second beer of the night from Moreline, long, uh, Moreline Christian Moreline Brewing Company, is Das Uba. Das Uba. <laughs> this is their Oktoberfest for 2016. Um, it's their Fest Lager. Um, they had it in the logger house, or not in the logger house, but at the, the um, malt room at their brewery, where if you bought it but bought it the weekend of Cincinnati Oktoberfest, you got it in a DOS boot and got to keep the DOS boot. Nice. Blah, blah, what's more French right A little light for uh, Oktoberfest, not as dark as some of them. Nice amber. Oh, that's good. It's a nice, easy drinking, nice. like an Oktoberfest is supposed to be. You're supposed to be it's able to nice, drink it. It's an odd coloring for an Oktoberfest. It's not as dark as a lot of Oktoberfests. It's, it's light for an Oktoberfest. But, but you need a good beer that you can drink. It won't fill you up because this one's not heavy. So it won't fill you up. So you can keep drinking because when you're at Oktoberfest, you're going to be drinking a lot. No! Uh, a place called Oktoberfest? And we're not going to drink a lot? Hopefully a lot of water with the drinking a lot. <laughs> You'd like to think that that doesn't always happen. For the third Moreline beer of the night, we have Moreline Handlebar. It's a double stout. Um, with this one, that they had this one out during the since during the All Star Game last year for Cincinnati when Cincinnati hosted the All Star Game. Now picture this: they put a stout out during summer. Yeah. <laughs> But, I mean, it, it fits Cincinnati because the mustache with the reds and things like that. Um, but, I mean, a stout, I mean, you can always oh, have it, a good stout. It's a double stout! A double stout. Double your flavor, double the pain, double the hangover you're going to get the next day. So, yeah, I mean, I've had this one about a year ago. You're not going to like this. <laughs> We're going to see how well it aged. It smells very malt. The, you can oh, smell the malt. Good. You can smell the coffee notes. Oh. This has aged a lot better than it was when I first had it the first time. So, this one, I'm happy I have some more cans of this because that one aged very well. Stouts will stay a long time. Yeah, stouts, you can age them. 
Um, they get a lot of them. You get, they get better with age. You just have to age them the appropriate way, out of the sun, lower temperatures. Just make sure it's in the fridge, back in the fridge. Well, you don't even have to have them in your fridge if you have a basement. As long as your basement stays around 70 degrees, it'll they'll do fine as long yeah, as it's in the dark. But in the fridge, it's a constant temperature, and you don't have to worry about it. Like, yeah, that's age. what I said. Just put it in the fridge, just a little chill. Yeah, be fine. So, John, do we even have to ask this? John's going to be finishing <laughs> that one. <laughs> and I'm going to be finishing the Das Uber. Not just that one. And I'm finishing this. But my favorite out of them was the Das Uber. Oh, so you like this Double Stout? I see. The Double Stout's good. It's better now that it's aged. Subscribe here on YouTube. Like us, like us below as well. If you really like us, you subscribe and give us a thumbs up. Follow us on Facebook. Or even faster, just go to twodrunks.com. That's two Instagram. <laughs> twodrunks.com, as John's already got there. But cheers. Good night. <laughs>